What's up everybody, it's Daytime Ant here, and today we are back in Trailmakers. Alright, so I have gotten a lot of comments about you guys wanting the SU-57 feeling. So, that's what we're gonna be building today, but instead of just doing a regular video of me, you know, having a time lapse, I thought that I could maybe do another tutorial on how to make uh, this uh, SU-57. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today, so yeah, I guess uh, we better get started. Alright, so if you know me, you know that I am not that great at making tutorials, but I'm gonna try my best to make this one as uh, clear as possible. Alright, so as always, I got a 3D model of the SU-57. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can also find this model that I use. Alright, so we're gonna start off with a cone. And then we're gonna place a block behind it here. All right, now, yep, it's kind of sharp. So we're gonna use the biggest wedge like this. All right, so looking at the model here, it looks like we're gonna have to make the frontier five blocks wide. Oh, that might be too much. You know, what we could do is remove these and replace them with a three by one, like that. All right, and at the bottom here, we're gonna just duplicate this. Oh my God, duplicate, there we go. Yeah, and at the top, we're gonna place a 1x4. Alright, so I'm gonna try to use as little amount of time on this plane, because usually I spend hours building planes, but, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it short here. Alright, whatever, we're just gonna do this. And, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's place a 1x4 here as well. There you go. I don't know how far the cockpit is gonna go, but let's let's just do this for now. This is the wedge that it's gonna go into, so we're just gonna... You know, I'm gonna replace this by a 2x2, two two, and then I think we could just copy this guy down. And then do this. Okay, copy this to the other side, and oh, there you go. Alright, now let's uh, do some work towards the cockpit here. Alright, now the cockpit is pretty far ahead. It's like, it's gonna start right here, I think. And then it's gonna go up like that. And then go back. Okay. All right now for the front here, we're just gonna place two wedges. Oh, I might wanna do that. So remove these two and put a one by three. Okay. Ah, uh, it looks kinda weird. All right, so if we move this guy back here, place it like that. And then put a 1x4 there. Move that guy back, maybe. Now copy this. Oh, God. You know what? If it looks... If it sticks out too much, we're just gonna fix that at a later point. But for now, let's work on... Oh, my God. Uh, let's work on a cockpit. All right. So we're just gonna place the corner piece here. Right there. Oh, and place a block here as well. And then... Do that. Alright. Yeah, that looks like a good cockpit. Alright, just have it like this. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Alright, now we just gotta get the seat in here. We're gonna grab a piston. Just turn it around. Alright, so we, we have to use a motorcycle seat because that's the only one that's three blocks wide. We can actually move this guy up. Hang on. If we do if we just move this guy up. Just flip this guy around and uh, just place a one by, one by two right there. And now we can put a three by one. There you go and attach this. Oh my god. Start position is zero. Remove all the keybinds. Yes. All right. Now it does go down like that. Okay. Just put a block right there. Oh crap. Yep. We can have it like this. Alright, so I went ahead and changed up a couple of blocks down here. I just put 2x4s and 1x4s and a 1x2 right here. Alright, so now we can- oh, put two- yeah, just do that. Alright, now we can begin with the thing sticking out here. Alright, so it's gonna start about right here. Now this plane is really wide, so I think we're gonna have to have two wedges here. And then we're gonna have a- another wedge one by four right here now just fill this in 
Alright, so the wigs are supposed to start like at the end of the wedge here, like this. But I think it's gonna be a bit too far ahead. Yeah, I'll just move it down like this. Alright, and now it's time for the wing. Alright, I made an outline of the wing here. I mean, it's kinda off. You know what? Move all of these wedges one forward and I'm gonna change the block like this. Alright, so we got, I think, one, two, three, four, five wedges down, and then a one by four here, one by two, and then two more one by fours, and then a, another block, one by two here. And I think it's time to fill in the wings with the uh, wings. Try to fill in as many, like, big wings as possible. We can have, oh, we can fit one right there. Boom. And then fill this in, like this. And then just fill this in with the uh, rounded pieces. Oh, this, oh, this is kind of annoying. Alright, if you want more lift, you can just have it like this. But I'm just gonna put this guy back here and uh, work it. We can just, if we do something like this. And then put a 2x1 rounded. And a 1x2 rounded. Okay, that's one wing done. Now you can copy this piece up here. And now just copy the entire wing. And but okay, I have to do like one piece at a time. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna change these guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put a three by three by one wedge corner here and a one by two rounded here. All right, now we can just put a one by four right there and this. Just fill this in. Copy all of this. Boom. Okay, now we gotta fix this problem. So what I like to do here is get a large side view mirror i don't know how much it costs i think maybe only like a thousand in-game coins or cash yeah we're just gonna put a decal over it and put it right there and then two shield pieces all right now i'm gonna put a one by three here just to clean up all right i think we could just place one of these big boys here just have the oh just have this all right so if the engines go like this we might want to Place one of these there, and then like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. I know what to do. Uh, delete this one by four, and delete these three blocks here, and then just move these guys up. Yes. And now what we could do is these two, and then copy them, and then you can place three one by four wedges. All right. I went ahead and I copied these guys down. So. We can also do this, then put a 1x3 right here to make him attach to the plane. There we go. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got to do the underside. All right, so for the other side, I'm just going to copy these all the way down. All right, and now it's time for the air intake. So first thing you're going to do is find out where they are. Kind of start like in the middle here. So we're going to get like a, another cor- oh my god. Got to get another corner. And now we're gonna get a corner piece because the engines are like going forwards if that makes sense. And then we could just put it like a decal over it to make it look like there's actually a hole. Alright, and then we're gonna get like a one of these. Oh, and then a block. <laughs> a block. A two by four. You know what? Actually keep that open. Because we we are probably gonna put engines inside there. Alright, so just keep this like that, and now it's, I think we should make an engine. So we'll copy this down. You know what, we might actually want to make the, oh, we might actually want to make the elevators first. One thing I'm seeing is that the elevators are like into the other wing, but the elevators don't move. How am I going to explain this? Uh, the entire elevator doesn't move. Here's where the elevators are attached. And then only like delete this one by two and rotate uh rotate this one by three and put them right there and then you can put a two by four right there so it goes like this then down and then back in again let's put a hinge right there oh wait hold on put the elevator right there now what you can do to make this tail not connected to the wedge here is put a distance sensor and put the distance to zero and just put a decal. Copy these two and put them like this. 
And now you can put elevators inside of uh, the elevator. Put a 1x3 in here. Alright, so now if I just select the tail, it's only connected to the steering hinge. Oh, the cockpit doesn't work anymore, but we're gonna fix that later. Now I'm just gonna save it, and now we can get into the engine. Okay, like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see what I did, but... So I'm gonna put a 3x1 wedge, and then these 1x2s, and then just copy these guys around. Now what you can do is put a, a ship's lantern, if you want it to glow and stuff. Alright, there we go. All right, now we can work on the tail that just sticks out. All right, like that. Um, remember to delete these and put a one by three here. And then we can just copy everything to the other side. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna fix that cockpit, but it's better to do that at the end of the build. Because when you just put new stuff down, it's just gonna bug and freak out. So it's best to fix it at the end. Now that we got our engines put down, we can connect these iron takes into the engine. Okay, um, you know, I think you could just stay like this. Put three wedges here. If we do that, and then we gotta connect these guys somehow. All right, here we go. I made the wedge. So as you can see, we got two tail lights here. Make sure to have the off by default toggled on. We got a rounded piece, we got five wedges here, and a rounded inverted. And a 2x2, two 4x1 two, wedge, and a rounded. And we're gonna copy this guy to the other side. Oh yeah, and I don't, I don't think I showed you this, but there's a 1x4 behind the rounded here. And then a 1x3, and then the wedge. Alright, now what we could do is just open up. Oh, open up here and try to just fit fit in as many space thrusters as possible or just any thruster in general now i'm gonna do it like this so that you don't see the grid blocks from under here okay if you if you move this block yep move that and just delete these two boom and yeah that's gonna be it because you need to cover this up now you can put a two by four right there Okay, make sure to just turn this guy so it's connected. Okay, and now you can fill these guys up with the shield. And there we go. The engine... No, oh, the air intakes are finished. Alright, so I've changed it up a bit here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do the same on the other side, so just follow along. Alright, so I removed this rounded piece here and replaced it with a 1x4 and 2 wedges. Now delete these two and replace them with this. You know what? Maybe not that guy. Like, yes. Like this. And then you can put a shield piece right there and one right there. Alright, now we've done everything but the vertical stabilizers. You know what, let's just put them right here. You know what, no, put them right here and put a distance sensor facing downwards onto the tail fin so it doesn't connect there. And okay, we gotta move this small modular wing just so that we can put a 1x2 right there because the tail fin goes to like right there. Put a 1x2 here, and then a 2x1. Alright, now we can just do the tail. So we gotta fit this guy in here. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Just put a 1x3 and a 1x4. And then you can put a, another piston. Have it face like this. Boom! Yes, it went in. Alright, now this tail is at a 25 five degree angle so just put these guys to 25 you can either use a distance sensor or, or an altitude sensor here but i'm gonna use the altitude sensor put this guy to negative 500 and then connect them up to the steering hinges all right and now the tail is not gonna work of course see th this this is the reason why i don't like hinges in this game they're so goddamn annoying well hold on we could just maybe do this Put it rounded inside there, and then if we remove the speed sensor, and... Yes! Okay, yes, okay, that works, okay. And connect the tail with a flat connector. Oh my gosh. Okay, now what you can do, grab this 1x4 and this 1x2, move them up, and replace them with this. Make sure to have a space here, because that's where we're gonna put the rounded. And then another rounded right there. Just move that down. Boom! Now we're finally done with the tail. Okay, I copied it to the other side. And boom! Oh, 
ignore the cockpit. Okay, I put a couple of shield pieces right there. Now let's uh, do the roll on the plane. There are a couple of options here. One thing you can do is put a elevator fin in the wing. But I'm not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna use gyros because with gyros he can make the plane feel a lot better. So I'm just gonna put a gyro in here and one on the other side. Alright, you gotta make sure the arrows are the same direction, yep. Alright, now what you're gonna do is put these guys to the maximum strength, delete the input, yep, and then just uh, delete this guy. Then put a an ore logic gate in there, and then put the keybinds A and D, connect them with the gyros, oh, there you go. And then put the output to like, maybe 0.2. Alright, let's try to fly with them, yes! And now we have that dampening effect. Like, look at this. It stops. Right, now you can adjust this however you want, but I think, you know what, no, I'm gonna change it a little bit. All right, I put it to 27. Oh yeah. Now it's time to make the yaw better. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna get two more gyros and put them right here. There's two one by threes. And then you can just put the gyro in there and this guy right there. Alright, now you can cover it up with a shield. And I guess we could do the same for the top. Make sure to do it on the other side as well. And then get another logic gate. Okay, I just put the speed up to 1.5. And put this guy up to 23. Okay, I'll, and I'm only gonna change the speed on the back elevators. Because I'm gonna use the front ones to something different. Okay, so now for the front ones, we're just gonna make a, like, a trim. Alright, so there you go, you can see that the trim is working. If I hold down, the plane goes down. If I hold up, the plane goes up. Alright, and now we're gonna do the gyro thing on the pitch as well. Okay, just get a gyro. And I'm gonna put a wedge here to make it aer aerodynamic. Alright, so I've done the exact same thing on the pitch now. And also, if you want, you can disable air control. I'm gonna do that because it makes the plane feel a little, uh, just a little bit better. All right, so I have the gyro and output 0.3. There we go, now it flies pretty well. All right, now you can adjust and change the steering however you want, I don't care. But either way, uh, all the maneuverability and stuff is now done, so. I think it's time to add some weapons on it. Alright, so first thing, we're gonna add a minigun. Oh no, this might... Oh, where can I add this? You know what, we can maybe add it back here. Alright, let's see if the piston still works. What? It does? Oh, but the minigun does not. I mean, we could try to place it back here. I don't think it's gonna function well with the cockpit. Oh, it actually does! What? All right, well, just remove these blocks and put one by twos and a minigun here and just fill everything up with shields. Now, I don't think it really carries any bombs. It's like a air superiority fighter, so I don't think I'm going to add any more weapons, but you could add a bomb bay just in here or like a rocket launcher. But the thing with the rocket launchers is that they hit your own plane all the time. All right, but here you have all the functionality. And you can pop like crazy maneuvers. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, now two things remain, and that is the coloring and the landing gear. All right, so I like to do the coloring first before I, I add the landing gear. So we're just gonna start the coloring. All right, I'm gonna do... I don't know what the camo is called, but I'll, I'll just put a picture up of it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that camo. So, first things first, we're gonna make the cockpit out of glass, make it black. You can also put a 1x2 in there so it looks a bit cleaner. Alright, now I'll just color everything this gray here. Oh, and we gotta do the cockpit again. And now all the decals. Alright, so we're gonna start by painting all of the big things first. So let's do the engines. Oh, yeah, distance sensors. Alright, but yeah, back to what I was saying. It looks like it's like this color. These guys are like a bit darker. Do that and then we can put a decal over this. And this decal is gonna be like a dark brown. And now do the same for the underside. Boom! Alright, and then the color of the ship's lantern. Like this. Oh, there we go. And now the tip here is kind of white. 
or it's kind of it is white so just use decals to make it like a rounded shape boom copy that and now it's how to paint the <laughs> rest of the plane oh wait no we got to do the lines on the glass here make them this dark gray put one of these guys at the top here okay there we go now you can actually change the size of these guys they're kind of small oh yeah there you go all right now you we could just paint the all of the pieces so oh so this is gonna be a dark oh god this is gonna be like a dark gray on this side is gonna be like a kind of a lighter gray all right and now you can get like one of these to divide the colors like that and then you can do the same over here boom now here it kind of like fades between the colors so i'm gonna use this decal like that okay and i'm i'm just gonna do all of this make a little bit of a time lapse and you guys could just follow along because if i was gonna color all this on camera or like if i was gonna color all this one bit at a time it's gonna take way too long so uh, yeah just let the time lapse begin Okay, here we go. I am finished with all of the camo work on the plane. Now, this wasn't actually that bad. I just kept using the square shapes and the dashed lines. And uh, yeah, I got some stars here and on the tail. And right here, we got some checkered patterns. And one thing I forgot to do was the air intake. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna get a square, remove the outline, make it black, just do this. And then we can change you to be a bit over the... Like that. There you go. Alright, so what you can do now is uh, take this guy. Put an Orologic gate. And now connect him up to the steering hinges back here. And then do A and D on it. Uh, oh. Okay, turn this guy around. And then change the keybinds. So now you can go up. Yes. So now you can use the tail to turn as well. And you cannot still pitch up and pitch down. Okay, now- Oh, don't look at the underside. Uh, I- I'm not gonna paint the underside, man. Okay, now the last step is to add a landing gear. Oh, and one more thing that I see here on the plane is that it has, like, these things. I don't know what they are, but if we do like this. Yeah, I don't really know what these are, but if you want to, you can just add them. I'm add them. I mean, it kind of- it looks pretty cool. Okay, now back to the landing gear. Um... Alright, so I'm gonna make detachable landing gear because I don't want to try to make him like 
go back in and then they're just gonna bug out the plane and it's just a lot of stuff that I don't want to do right now. So we're just gonna do like this. Copy this to the other side. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna add the landing gear right there. Boom. Boom and boom. Alright, now you're gonna select all of the detachable blocks. And then put them on G, toggle and make scrap. And now just color everything in. All the wheels. There we go. Now we have landing gear so we can take off properly let's go all right that's it so hopefully you should have an su57 feeling for yourself now uh i hope this tutorial wasn't too hard to follow i mean i'm trying my best here but obviously it can't be the best tutorial but yeah feel free to change anything you want obviously and uh yeah maybe you can make functional landing gears I probably can't because I just don't like hinges, okay? Alright, but that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then make sure to leave a like down below. And if you like the content and the stuff that I do, then I guess you can consider subscribing. Oh god. God damn it. But that's all I gotta say, so uh, see you.